Hello, it's Shoni. Welcome back and happy Pride Month. I am at work, so I'm going to do my makeup at work. I have my Sonia G uh, travel bag here, so let me start taking my stuff out. Okay, so I'm going to start with... I keep forgetting to bring a primer for my eyes, so I'm just going to go in with... This concealer from NYX. This is the Can't Stop, Won't Stop concealer. And this is the shade Mahogany. So feel free to get ready with moi. Oh, okay. So I think our Elevator Chronicles Elevator Saga has now ended. I think I can successfully navigate the elevator. And I'm basing that on the fact that I'm going in with this uh, Anissa Beauty Eye. No, not this one. I'm sorry. Anissa Beauty Eye Prime brush. Um, so I took the elevator today and there was a young woman who was like, oh, this is my first time working in this building. Um, what did she say? She said something about, oh, where can you pay? So I was telling her and then independently, I was like, oh, and when you're coming back, you have to take elevator D to C2. <laughs> like, I'm just like, I know what I'm talking about, uh, which I only learned like a week or two ago, but I feel like we're good to go with the elevator. So saga concluded. So I have nothing in particular to discuss today. So I'm just gonna chat whatever about whatever comes to mind. One thing I was wondering is if folks have traveled recently, like on a plane, and are people wearing their masks on a plane? Let me know. I'm thinking about my trip next month. I was gonna say next week, next month, and trying to determine, do I wear my mask, don't I? And, you know, I'm going around my parents who are in their late 70s, so I, I don't, I want to be careful, you know? So let me know if you've traveled or you've observed people and what they're doing. So what I did, I have my kit pack here, and I actually took some shades from the Natasha Denona Circo Loco palette. So these are several shades from there. What I did first, which I tend to do with all of my shades, is that I printed out the uh, names on a label and put them on the back so that when I um, do get back home and I put the shades back, I'll know exactly where they go. I think you can also take a picture of the palette and figure it out that way, but I like my way better. <laughs> so I don't have any idea what look I'm going to do, which I typically don't know looking at all of my brushes here. Oh, here we go. Look, I think I'm missing some. Okay, and I have this bright pink on. I don't want to be too obvious with the pink, but I'm going to use pink. So I'm going to go in with this shade here. Let me see if I can tell you what it is. It's the shade Cotton Candy. I feel like this is the one Natasha Denona palette that gets like all over my fingers. This is awkward placement. So I was listening to this uh, podcast and they were talking about like what superlatives people might have in high school. I think it's mainly high school. So, you know, like most likely to succeed, most likely to be famous, most likely to cause some bad stuff to happen. I don't know. So I was wondering, what was your superlative in high school? Now, we didn't have superlatives, but you could do a quote. And so I clearly remember that my quote was either lead, follow, or get out of the way. <laughs> and I'm thinking about my high school graduation since, you know, graduations have just passed typically. Um, and so I'm friends with some of my 
old teachers from high school like on Facebook and stuff and definitely my friends from high school and so they were posting like the graduation and I went to this prep school which I didn't realize was a prep school until like maybe last month because I would say it's a college preparatory school and then I was like oh snap that's a prep school so I'm a preppy who knew and it was in or it is in Hollywood California um, same one that Tyra Banks went to Mary Tyler Moore um, Meghan Markle like all the famous people and our graduations are like they're like an event you know so it is an all girls school although we did have someone who was trans I think they're a famous actor also and I can't remember their name for the life of me because they're a little younger um and I was just so happy to see how accepting my school was um and yeah so their outfit during graduation was a little different to accommodate their um body and so I say that because the way our graduation works is that everyone has their dress made at a dressmaker so the trans student had a suit made instead um, and it's all white and the class kind of decides on the design and everything then you have to go get measured and all this jazz and then the dressmaker makes the dress um so then it's at the hollywood bowl so i don't know if you know anything about the hollywood bowl but like concerts are held there and things like that so it's this big venue i feel like someone was in my office Things are like a touch out of place, which is fine, but like I would just like to know. Um, so it's at the Hollywood Bowl and we sing a song. Oh, first we walk in like down the long aisle and do we have the same shoes? I don't think we have the same shoes. I don't know. You know what's interesting though? Meghan Markle's wedding dress looked very similar to like what our dresses would look like and at their wedding Meghan and Harry our uh drama teacher was there and like Meghan stops and says hi to her or like waves at her so cool um so we walk in and we're holding 18 red roses maybe even more so you're walking in in your pretty white dress and you've got the 18 roses and you just walk and it's just like this ethereal like event and then we sing we sing a song we're like a choir of angels so our song was the rose some say love it is a something so that was our song and every year you know the class decides on a song or whatever so sometimes i just randomly break out in that song and i sing my like harmony part <laughs> so it's like a super big deal right and then oh i'm gonna go into this shade here which is joker so we sing the song i can't remember when we sing it um is at some point but it just it sounds beautiful because we practice it for ages and blah 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 and then it's all like choreographed um and then what happens oh so at some point during the ceremony they announce like the top award winners and so there are five awards and they're like for the top like their top five people I guess or maybe not even that more like the awards are voted on and then whoever the winner is blah 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 so I got one of the top five awards I got the Ruth Ann Murray award and that was like service to your campus and the community now when I was in high school I did a lot of service activities like 
I tutored kids in Spanish, like meaning we spoke in Spanish. Now I couldn't, I could barely hold a sentence or speak a sentence in Spanish, but I tutored them at the Boys and Girls Club. And then um, I, what else did I do? I don't remember. That was a big one though. Um, I just had like a lot of community service hours. Like we had to do a certain amount, but I did like way more. So that was pretty cool. But I got the Ruth Ann Murray Award. And if you got one of the awards, your family sat in the front at the Hollywood Bowl. So my family, this is the stage, right? My family is right here to the left. Everyone knew it was my family because my family is one of those obnoxious families that are like so loud at a graduation. But the thing that sets my family apart is that they're not only loud for me, they're loud for everybody. <laughs> so when my friends were coming up, they would be like, yeah, yeah, Susan, woo. And then when I was coming up, they did the same thing, but they were doing it for all of my friends, but especially for me. And we had this, I don't remember the teacher's name, but he was very like regal and like just very stately. Like he should have been on like, um, what's that show with the stately people? I don't know. What's that show with like the British folk? Downton Abbey. He should have been on that. I've never seen the show, but it seems like he would fit in. Um, and so he like says all the names and everything. Uh, and you know, so it was my turn and my family's like yelling, but then they're yelling for other people. And he stops the graduation and he's like, if the family in the front could be more silent. <laughs> and my family's like, eh. And everyone knew it was my family. But when we do the awards like you have to stand up and you're like presented as getting the award and so I was standing I was the only black person to get an award one of the top five awards like it was such a big deal and you know my family was going insane and my pastor from my church at home he came he came to like all of my graduations and he was this like stately tall man and he just would stand silently whatever my name was called it was very like intense and so cool and i don't know if i told you but when i was younger my mom was working my dad i don't know where the hell he was um somewhere maybe he was working too and so my mom would drop me at church on sundays and the pastor would stand outside and wait for me and hand to god i thought this man was moses and I was like, my little self, how old was I? Five, six. I would be like, you know, like <laughs> flipping my pigtails like Moses waits for me at the door of the church. Nobody could have told me he wasn't Moses. He's like, <laughs> or he was, he passed away, unfortunately, which was like knife to the heart. But he was like tall and dark skin and he just had this white beard and white hair. I was like, that's Moses, y'all. That's what Moses looked like. Okay, I'm going to go in with, I think, these two shades. Um, let me see if I can tell you what they are. So the matte, oop, it's a lot harder when you don't I accidentally cut myself off. Um, but this shade, I did not put a label on. <laughs> I think my label maker actually ran out of paper. But this shade is the shade Act. So I'm going to find some way to use these two shades. I know that this is the shade that is on like the bottom left hand of the palette. It's like the last shade. Um, so yeah, I thought that my pastor was Moses because he looked like Moses in my opinion, my little child opinion. I was like, that's Moses. I don't know if y'all know. <laughs> um, so what else? What am I saying? Yeah, my pastor would just stand up and it was just like the most beautiful thing. And let me tell you something. <laughs> so when they call you and you get up to get your degree, it's like Miss Shawnee who is going to the university of blah, 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 blah. And you go and you get your diploma and then you have to curtsy. Listen, 
I know how to curtsy. So if I ever met, I guess, the king now, I would know how to curtsy. And we had to do it with 18 red roses. So you had to like put your foot back and just like curtsy. It was just like, it's regal. Like how, that's why I think I'm a princess. Like, come on. Why did I tell you that story? I don't remember. But yeah, Meghan Markle had to do that. Tyra Banks had to do that. We all had to do it, honey. Which is pretty cool. But just to say, our graduation was just like an event. You know, it wasn't just like caps and gowns and like throwing your cap in the air. It was very like stately. And I don't know why I keep saying stately, but that's the only thing I could think. And very just like, like that. Um, so yeah, superlatives, <laughs> what were yours if you had them? And my quote was either lead, follow, or get out of the way, which feels very fitting. Oh, the other thing I would do as like service to my community was, um, I would like counsel younger students, which was pretty cool don't know what I'm doing with this eye look but we're just gonna keep going it was such a big deal though that I got one of the top awards like I'm telling you after the ceremony I had all these people of color coming up to me and being like oh my god you are such a good like person and we're so proud of you and I was like thanks guys and then so I had my 18 red roses and my whole family knows I love roses so then my sister got me more roses like two dozen it was just like it was so nice and people were like crying because they were like so sad that high school was over and I'm like bye <laughs> But I actually did have a good time in high school. Like, I know some people have a terrible time, and I'm really thankful that mine wasn't. I mean, there were some ridiculous instances. Like, for one of my science classes, I had to argue for my grade. So, in California, I don't know if they have it in other places, but you can get a gold seal on your diploma. Now, you have to have maintained a certain GPA, especially in certain classes and all this stuff. So I was like gunning for my gold seal, right? Even in college, I like wanted all of the honors. I had like so many of the like tassel -y things around me. So in high school, I was like one class away from getting my gold seal. And it was this, it was this science class. I can't remember what it was. It wasn't biology because that was like early, that was like freshman year or something, but it was some science class, right? And there was a really, really hard test. And a lot of us, it <laughs> sounds like a bunch of nerds, a lot of us got B's instead of A's, right? And so I think I got a B on the test. But when I calculated my grade, it was still an A. It was a low A, but it was an A. But my teacher decided to give me a B in the class. And I needed an A so that I could get my gold seal. And that is all I cared about. This woman was ruining my life. And so... I calculated it. No, some people, some other people too had gotten a B in the class and they were like, oh, whatever. And I was like, nah, 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 nah. I want my A. I need my A because I need the gold seal. So um, I went to the teacher and I was like, uh, I think you calculated this wrong. I'm supposed to have an A in the class. And she was like, no, you don't have an A. So I went and told my family, my parents, and my parents were always like, you try to solve it. And if you can't solve it, that's when we'll come in. So I had people calculate my grade. I had like a mathematician calculate it. I had the dean calculate it. I had the dean's wife calculate it. I was like, yo, I know that I have a B, I mean an A, and I'm not going to calm down until I get it because I need my gold seal on my diploma. 
So I had all these people calculate, and I go back to the lady, the teacher, and I'm like, I've had all these people calculate it. I've calculated it. We haven't come to the exact same number, but we've all come to an A. And so then she was like, I'm not giving you an A. And I'm like, bitch, like, why are you messing with my life, right? And so um, I went to do the lower lash line a bit. And so at that point, I told my parents, like, look, I have tried, and this lady is not giving me my A that I rightfully deserve. So that's when my parents got involved. So we scheduled a meeting with the Dean of Students, the president of the school, who's a nun, the teacher, and I think it was my dad and maybe my oldest sister or second oldest sister who came because my mom was working. So we go into this like room with all of us and my dad looks really intimidating like he comes in there dark-skinned guy with like his three-piece suit on and a, a briefcase that has nothing in it <laughs> we go into the room and the lady is like bright red because I'm telling like these are all the things that I have done to make sure that I have an A and I need my gold seal on my diploma I'm going to go in with the Danessa Myrick's Yummy Skin. This is the universal one that came with like a purchase from Sephora. So I'm like, this is, is that purple on there? Or is that just my skin looking? No, that's purple on there. I was gonna say, is that my skin looking bruised? No, that's definitely purple. Okay, so I got some fallout. Like that, oh, my skin look like that. Okay. So in the meeting, everyone's agreeing. Well, everyone but the teacher that it's supposed to be an A. And so she tries to pull one more trick. She tries to do one more thing. And she's like, well, you didn't turn in all of your assignments. Now, here's the thing. When we turned in our assignments, she would sign them. And I had all my assignments. And I was like, ma'am, here are all of the assignments. You have signed each one as I'm flipping through the pages. And then she had nothing else to say. So then it was like, all right. Like, I don't even know if my dad said anything. But it, it was just like his intimidating presence. And so I got my A. I got my seal on my uh got my seal on my diploma. Not that that means anything outside of California. <laughs> I don't even think it means anything, period. But listen, I have always fought for the grade that I know I deserve. Um apparently I did it in college too. I don't remember this, but my family has talked about like how again I went to like the associate dean and all these other things i was like i know this is the grade that i'm supposed to get so i have fought for every grade if i didn't if i knew that i didn't get a good grade or whatever i would accept it i only got i think one c in college and that was for anatomy and physiology i did excellently in the lab but y'all the lecture i didn't understand a thing that man was saying it was like he was speaking like German and all I knew was Spanish. Like I was like, what? So I just remember being like, I just need to pass this class. Like I can't deal with this man and his shenanigans. He would be jumping up on the table and all kinds of stuff. I was like, listen, sir, I need to pass this class and just let me know what can I do to pass it. Like, And all I was thinking about is I need to pass it. I didn't even care at that point what grade I got. Okay, so I'm using the Danessa Myrick's um, Color Fix Nude. This one is in the shade nine. I finished the foundation I was using, which was the Fenty uh, Soft Matte, like the travel one. So I finished that up. So I just decided to throw these in my bag.
I also went to cheer camp when I was in high school and I wasn't on the cheer team most of high school but right before senior year me and my friend were like let's try out as a joke and so the way it went is that you had to try out with one of the current members of the cheer team and of course my tryout I was paired with the captain and I was like fudge knocker like why are you pairing me with the best person on the team on the squad but y'all, I made it. I made it onto varsity cheerleading. I think I've shared some of the stories before. So I was the tallest, curviest, darkest person on the team. And they were struggling to like, I mean, I was, I was still thin, right? Like I wasn't as curvy as I am today. And it's like they were struggling to find the right size uniform for me. And I'm like, dude. So it made me feel like I was huge. But everyone else was relatively short and small. And here I came, like, tall and, like, busty, right? So we get the uniform. Mine is exceptionally short. And, you know, I was like a 16, 17-year-old girl. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> my short uniform and you could like wear it to school when we had like games and stuff and so um what was I saying so yeah I'd be on the bus like in my like cheerleader outfit <laughs> and we didn't have a school bus and here's the thing this is why um the the sisters of the immaculate heart which was our nun folks they had been so rebellious, like, in the, like, 60s and 70s and maybe even before that, that they were kicked out of the archdiocese. So, <laughs> even though we were a private school, we couldn't necessarily say we were a Catholic school because um, we had been kicked out of the archdiocese. And one day, I was reading Elvira's book, um... I can't remember the lady's name, but she was Elvira and she wrote a book, like an autobiography. And in it, she mentions that she would get a bunch of letters from people, like just saying how much they like her and stuff. And she got a letter from the Sisters of the Immaculate Heart. And I died. I was like, these are some badass nuns. That's why they got kicked out of the archdiocese. Um, so we just, we had a school that was really, I guess you could say progressive, uh, you know, like a lot of private or Catholic schools would be teaching about abstinence and stuff. We learned everything. We <laughs> learned about, like, we had sex education and like what you should do, what you, you know, we learned all the deets. Um, and so they wanted us to make like informed decisions. So I really appreciated that that they didn't shy away from things. So we had like some pretty progressive, badass nuns who were just really accepting of everyone. Um, okay. What else was I talking about? I don't even know. This is the Color Fix Nude in the shade seven. So I'm using that as like a highlighter, um, concealer kind of thing. And this is the BK Beauty Angie Hot and Flashy A506. This looks very similar to the foundation brush, the 101. This is the travel one. But you can see that they have like a similar shape. This one is just much, much smaller. Oh yeah, so I became a cheerleader and I went to cheer camp. It's a real thing. Have you been to cheer camp? I went to cheer camp, but we were actually more on the dance side of it. So there's UDA, which is Universal Dance Association or something, and UCA, which is like Universal Cheer Association. So we were actually part of the UDA side. Now, unfortunately for me, I had had a like major surgery because I had this like space on my tailbone that got infected. It was a whole to do. But I was like healing the summer of cheer camp. So 
it was either like don't go to sheer camp or go and make adjustments while you're there so i decided to go while i'm healing i won't even tell you the process of healing but basically you have to heal from the inside out um but I was able to adjust and like the, the judges knew that I had like a medical issue or whatever. Um, but we did a lot of dancing uh, and it was just like a lot of fun. And we did get the um, cheer stick. What is it called? I can't remember. But, you know, just very much like um, bring it on. These are jazz hands. Um, so yeah, that was super fun and I got all blue ribbons. So even though I was like sick, I got all blue ribbons and I also got sunburn. And my dad was like, black people don't get sunburn. I was like, sir, yes we do. And it actually wasn't as bad for me <laughs> as it was for my teammates because I at least had a bit more melanin. My child, those poor girls, they were sunburned like all in their scalp. And the thing is, you had to be cheering all the time. So you got up, you had to be cheering. You had to cheer all the way to lunch. You had to cheer all the way back from lunch and breakfast and dinner. And you just always had to be cheering. And we were always outside. And it was at UCLA, University of California, Los Angeles. So it was super duper hot and you had to go up all these hills. I'm like, when I reflect back on it, I'm like, I must have been in some hella good shape. Um, it was a lot, it was a lot. So because we were outside, we even had on like sunblock or sunscreen or whichever one it is. And um, we still got sunburned because you would like sweat it off. And then the final um, performance, you could have your family there so my mom and my sister and my niece came and i killed it we did like a thing from footloose i think we did the like footloose song footloose footloose kick off your sunday shoes you know and so at the end of it we took our shoe off and like threw it at the audience not to like hit them or nothing but it was like super fun i had such a good time at cheer camp but i did get sunburned and so i was starting to peel and i had to take my senior portraits <laughs> thank god for airbrushing because they did end up airbrushing out like my sunburn um and that was actually the first time I saw Tyra Banks senior portraits. They were so gorgeous because they had like, you know, you could decide if you did like the little fur stole thing <laughs> and all kinds of stuff. Um, that was also maybe the first time I really started getting into makeup because my sister did my makeup because I was sunburned. We were trying to just like make it look okay. So I do have the un like the non-retouched photos and then we have the retouched ones that is the laura mercier uh setting powder just the travel one. Oh, got it on my dress i'll have to get that off i don't want to rub it just yet because i have stuff on my hands okay so I'm going to go back into this and these are all lethal shades. These are all their face powders. This one is a bronzer and these two are some of their blushes. I really like them. Let me know if you've used lethal um, face powders. I don't know why that was. No, I didn't want to use this brush. That's okay. I meant to use the other one. Oh, did I tell you all that I was on the prom court? So I was. So the way it worked at our school was that, again, you were voted onto the prom court. And I had, no, like, I really wasn't expecting it. So the juniors and the seniors all voted, right? And I remember I was in the bathroom and they made an announcement of who was on the prom court. And they said my name and I was like, what? <laughs> I'm on the prom court? 
Yes. So, you know, I had to have an awesome dress, right? So I actually had my dress made at a bridal place. And now these kids be coming in with all kinds of dresses and all kinds of fabrics and all kinds of stuff. Mine was just like a princess dress, like a Disney princess kind of dress. It was just so gorgeous. It had like the, the tight bodice at the top and then it went out and I had like a crinoline under it or whatever. And I had gloves. Y'all, I was doing the most. I was doing the most. I'm going to use this shade here. Um, so on the prom court, you like, you know, you walk in with your escort. And since it was an all girls school, if you wanted to take a guy, you had to find the guy <laughs> and ask him. So I actually asked this guy I had such a crush on from church and he went with me and it was a lot of fun. Um, and so you go onto the court and all that jazz and I didn't win, that's okay, I'm still a princess. Um, my good friend won queen, but it was like a lot of fun. So I'm just saying I had, I had pretty good times in high school. Not always, not always, but there are times that stand out that were just really amazing. There was also a super duper big hill, hill at our school too because it's in the Hollywood Hills. Child, we would have to walk up that daggone hill to get lunch and stuff. And I actually worked in the cafeteria because I was on scholarship. Um, so that was an interesting experience to be like serving my friends. That was interesting. This is the Makeup Forever uh, what is this called? HD Skin Matte Velvet Foundation. Just using that as a like setting powder. And oh, I want to just like do this a little bit to blend everything in. Okay, let me put on some mascara and figure out what lip I brought and I'll be right back. I almost forgot about my brows, <laughs> so I did those. I also used the Monsieur Big mascara from Lancome and then I went in with the shade Plum Queen in liquid lipstick from Dose of Colors and I also used the LA Girl Perfect Precision Lip Liner in the shade Berry Wine. So that is it. In the comments, let me know uh, what your superlative was in high school or your quote, because I had a quote. Um, let me know how people are traveling nowadays. Are we done with the pandemic? I'm not quite sure. Uh, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. And leave me a comment so I can chat with you in the comments. Uh, that's it. I hope that some of this was helpful and I also hope that you are continuing to take care of yourself. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Spirit.